Hi guys, welcome back to the Next Generation Podcast Show. This is our first podcast of 2017. My name is Jay, I am your host of the Next Generation Podcast and today we'll be talking about some movie and gaming news that's probably been out for the past week or so. But let me first introduce you to today's guests. Returning back on the show is Sasquatch. Hello, it's nice to be back. Yeah, it's been a long time, Sasquatch, so it's good to have you back on the show. It's good to be back, man. Can't wait to get this going. Awesome. And our next guest is Tefion. <laughs> oh, close to you. Almost said my name properly. But yeah, it's, uh, it's Tavionator here. Can't wait to can't wait to do this. Tavionator. Sorry about that. Sorry, buddy. No, no problem. Right. So, um, as you know, we're going to run down the movie topics of the portion of the podcast. Let's get on with the first topic, which was the Thor Ragnarok trailer. Now, this was uh, dropped a while back, so it is kind of old news, but I just want to cover you and get your thoughts on it since we haven't really spoke about Thor Ragnarok yet. So, imprisoned on the other side of the universe, the mighty Thor Chris Hemsworth finds himself in a deadly gladiatorial contest that pits him against the Hulk, played by Mark Ruffalo. His former ally and fellow Avenger, Thor's quest for survival leads him in a race against time to to prevent the all-powerful Hela, who is played by Kate Blanchett, from destroying his home world and the Asgardian civilization. Sasquatch, what do you make of the first trailer? I'm sure you've seen it by now. Oh, of course I have. Um, I really like it. I I, I felt they shouldn't have done the Thor the Thor vs Hulk in that trailer. It should have just been you know a little lead up to it, and just have um you know like a little thing in maybe the next trailer of just like the Hulk's face and that's it. I felt that was a little too much. Like we know exactly what's going to happen. It's like ugh. Okay. Thanks. That's just me though now. I, I I am looking forward to it though. And it's nice to see one of my favourite actors back, Jeff Goldblum. I love him. I love oh, Jeff yes. Goldblum. Yes. Sexiest man in Jurassic Park. Oh, is <laughs> that that nip slip though. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I miss, I have to watch that movie again. Yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to it. Um, I think it's March this year it's coming out. Oh no, November, sorry. Uh, no, November. November. Yeah. November. November. I, that's no, going to be was, really I hope, risky I hope now. It's in March. <laughs> I was hoping, yeah. It's going to be really risky actually having it so close to a Star Wars release. Ooh. Yes. So the Thor Ragnarok trailer I thought was pretty damn good for what they showed for the first teaser, if you will. Chris Hemsworth's looking awesome. You got the Hulk in there as well. Yeah. Which I thought was uh, pretty good. And don't forget I mean, the return of Loki. Yes, oh, actually, Loki yeah. Well. He's one of my favourite villains actually th- throughout this whole I think whole, he's uh, everyone's favourite villain. Yeah, definitely. Mm-hmm. He's like one that is. Is there something about him that I think was uh, pretty like pretty funny as well? Yeah, he's a very cunning, and, uh, they, cunning villain. And they also introduced the actor uh, Carl Urban as uh, as the executioner, isn't it? Ex- executioner. Yeah, uh, yes. Like uh, mm, yes. What's the original <laughs> name? It's like Squog or something like that. Skull oh. the executioner. Yeah, Skog. Skull. Skull. Scroll. Oh, scroll. Yeah, yeah. something like that. <laughs> one, one of you. Yeah. <laughs> something menacing. Something executioner. Yeah. Mm. I, I do like Carl Oven, actually. I still haven't seen to this day the new, what do you call it, uh, Judge Dredd. Oh. I know. I, I, I feel so bad for not seeing it, but it's meant to be amazing. I love the fact that when um, when Jeff Goldblum, the, what was it called, the Grandmaster, when he was introducing the Hulk right, right at the end of the trailer, and you can hear um, Thor go, Yes! Mm. Mm. Oh yeah, that iconic comedic. I know him. He's a friend from work. You know yeah. that, that. Well, the um the director said, you know, the movie will be part comedy, part se- seriousness, because he because he, they did say that the yeah. uh, that the movie is going to be very funny, but yet serious at the same time. Oh yeah, mm. which, which is fair enough. I mean, like Thor movies were never overly serious. The, the Captain America mm. ones now, they were the ones, in my opinion, that pushed the, you know, the timeline oh, yes. along very much. Mm. So I think this is going well, to what, be a bit of a filler in a sense. Well, I want to know, what is your opinion on Hela's costume? Because I think they did it absolutely perfectly. Yeah, hands oh, down. It was amazing. She... Exactly like the comics. Mm. Exactly, yeah. yeah. And uh, that first opener where... She where, you grabs know, the uh, hammer. It just... his... yeah, yeah, she just grabs the hammer like it's it, nothing. It shows her power. It. It's like, yeah, fuck you, fuck your hammer, fuck but, this. Fun fact, um, I, I... The, the, 
the metal that they use uh, that they made out of Thor's hammer, um, Hela's got a sword which is made of the same material as Thor's hammer. Jesus, so, uh, isn't that like a yeah. uh, a star or something like that? Yeah, it's made of a star or something. Fucking hell. I think they're going to be introducing a new hammer. If I'm yeah, not... I believe it's in the, one of the newer versions of Thor. It's like a very longer version. Like, they released that photo of uh, Rocket Raccoon and Thor in that one photo. And you can kind of see where Thor's got like this long hammer. I can't wait to see that now, actually. I know, we got to wait. we got to pray for um, Kevin Feige, the, you know, the... The Lord and Saviour. <laughs> oh, God, yeah. <laughs> They're obviously, like, looking for Odin, right? Because it's, it's picking up where For the Dark World left off, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, uh, yes, yeah. I believe, yeah. But, but it's For all... the Dark World, and also, like, how after Age of Ultron, when Hulk disappears, off, yeah. Yeah, this so is... it's going to be continuing on from that. I think this will be yeah, taking place during, during the same time as Civil War. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, yeah. It. yeah. That's why when uh, when they said Thor isn't answering the calls or something, they said something similar yeah, to that. Yeah, this is the reason why. Yeah. Oh, when he's doing those he's 20 trying to uh, his videos. planet from not blowing up. Mm. <laughs> exactly. All right, then, guys, we'll move on to the next topic. Recently released Fast and Furious 8, as this came out. So with Dom and Letty married, Brian and Mia retired, and the rest of the crew... I don't know, on their own thing. <laughs> doing the old... Uh, bro, blow <laughs> just just being, being fast and furious. The team has now found some semblance of a normal life. They soon face an unexpected challenge when a mysterious woman named Cypher forces Dom to betray them all. Now, they must unite to bring home the man who made them a family and stop Cypher from unleashing chaos. I went to watch this recently, Fast and Furious 8, I went last weekend, and uh, I have to say, it is a good movie, however, I did yes. think... I did find it a little over the top at some times. Yeah, but I think that's well, the reason. Kind of, what? what what they ruined it is that they you know they ruined the you know it's all about cars and they just turned it into a spy thriller really. Yeah. Just, uh, that's what I'm yeah. saying. There's no there's no racing apart from well I don't want to like reveal too much about it. Yeah. Giving spoilers or anything, but there is yeah. a racing scene, one racing scene in the whole movie. Yeah. Yeah, because um, I went to watch it as well and they. It was like right at the start, wasn't it? And like yeah, it was Cuba or something. See, that yeah. that's why I like, and a lot of people go against me for this, is Tokyo Drift. Because in my opinion, it's just about the driving. Oh, yeah. And Tokyo that's why Drift I loved it. I just found it so, like, from, from Fast and Furious all the way to now, Dom, who's the main guy, he, mm. he he's now like some kind of assassin or something yeah, like that. Yeah, he's, he's, he's trying to he like... He like, martial arts and everything like that. Yeah, he it's really to, like, weird. I don't know, it's just so weird. It's like from racing to all the way to like a spy film now. It's kind yeah, of like um, anything ridiculous. you put Jason Statham in is just going to be like an action thriller. It's not, not going to be about yeah, racing. Talking about, talking about Jason Statham, so they basically announced that he's going to be a good guy now. And, you know. Yeah, I've seen the trailer of him and that? the baby, which looked really funny. Oh. I, I still have oh, yet to see the movie now scene. myself. I cannot. I, I'm not going to lie. I, when I went to watch it and I saw that scene where he's holding the baby, I was. Pissing myself laughing. I couldn't. Really? I just couldn't oh. hold it. In. I was. It was just yep. that funny. I, I've been, it was really good. Yeah, I've been really skeptical of actually going to see it because I'm. I'm not too sure if I'm going to like it because I loved the original like one, two, and three, and then I was like, yeah. okay, maybe not. Then I just bought them. I bought the whole box set. I don't know why. And then I, <laughs> like the Blu-ray fucking top of the line box set. And people were like, why? I'm like, because I like the first three. What about the others? I don't know. Oh shit. I'm leave it alone. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> I found the storyline kind of. Not what I was expecting, because I was thinking, right, he's under the mind control thing, but actually, he was actually uh, he, it was something else that um, she managed to like get Dom to betray his, the family. So that was yeah, kind of different. Black, yeah. I wasn't expecting that. I was expecting something else. So the ending was expected. I thought I found the ending kind of crap, really, because all of yeah. a sudden the Rock, the Rock's character, um, what was his name, um, Big Higgs or something? I can't remember his name. Yeah, Higgs uh, something. Higgs, yeah. yeah. Like, no, Jobs or something, I can't remember. Uh, some, Jobs, yeah, that's it, Agent the Rock. Jobs. The Rock. Yeah, the Rock's character. Just call him Rock. Yeah. <laughs> call him Rock then. The Pebble. Yeah, it's like, I found it, I found his character a bit weird because he... Because he, Dom... No, Hobbs. Betrays. Sorry? Hobbs. Hobbs, yeah, that's what I said, Hobbs. I thought you said Jobs, I was like... Luke I did say Jobs, then I said Hobbs. <laughs> Steve Jobs, Luke now Hobbs. in muscle form. 
I just I just found like his character he he because Dom's the one that kind of betrays him the most. But yet at the end of the movie, they both nobody asked any questions about oh you betrayed us and you did this and you're trying to kill us and nothing like that. Just sat around the table eating dinner. Sorry guys, yeah. spoilers by the way. Thanks. Yeah, there's no spoilers at all. I mean, they, well, I think, <laughs> like, like, yeah, we all know what's going to happen. Yeah, really? like the ending. I I'm glad that they uh, kind of honoured Paul Walker in the way. Did they? Like, oh, I, I, yeah. I, I did like that. I did like the fact that they mentioned Paul Walker in there as well. Oh, yeah, Brian. Uh, they did, Brian yeah, yeah, Brian. That's it. Yeah. Oh, I actually can't but, wait to see yeah, it now just, just for that. Just the ending was really frustrating for me. It's like they just. It, the action was great. I won't. I won't fault it, action. Yeah, in this movie, it was sort of a letdown at the end. You're like, that's it. Yeah, but it's just the ending was just rushed and it's like all happy family all after all that. So that that kind of spoiled it. For yeah. Me. Overall, I would have given it like a eight out of ten, easy. Eight oh, out of ten. Wow. Okay. I would give it a six point five out of ten. Oh, fair enough. No. Yeah. I didn't think it was as good as the last one. I thought the last one was pretty good. But I have heard that they are making nine and ten. Yeah. They yes, um. They, they announced that they're gonna end it after the tenth movie, which I believe is gonna be released in two thousand and twenty one. Yeah. Uh, yeah, well, they said they will go. The Fast and Furious movies were meant to be done in a trilogy, you know, three trilogies. So, you know, what do you expect? What do you call uh, an eight film trilogy thing? <laughs> no, like that's it. They done one, two, three, four, five, six, and now it's seven, eight, nine. <laughs> yeah, I think ten is just be like, okay, yeah, we're done. Bye. All old and retired, they're like in the castle. <laughs> <laughs> in the ghetto, <laughs> calling in the morning. <laughs> So, I think that's enough for, yeah. talk for now. We'll move yeah. on to something that happened um, over the weekend last week. It was a Star Wars celebration, the ultimate fan experience focused on a galaxy far, far away. There has never been a more exciting time to be a Star Wars fan than the Star Wars celebration that happened in Orlando, USA, bringing all fans all over, all ages from different parts of the world to celebrate the pop culture phenomenon that is Star Wars. Star Wars celebration, some announcements made, some posters, some trailers, all that sort of stuff from movies to television shows. Did any of you guys attend? Or do you know anyone that attended the Star Wars celebration? Sadly, no. I did not attend it, but I did watch it live. I couldn't even do that. I will will say, though, that it is a shame that I did not record my reaction when I first watched the... Star Wars: The Last Jedi trailer because oh. I was proper geeking out like a little. Bit. Oh yeah, like you. Oh, I was amazing. When I first watched it, I wasn't that impressed. I will say because I was expecting a lot more action, probably, or a lot more lightsaber action. I'm only saying that because when I went to watch Rogue One, I found that the movie was so different to a Star Wars film because there was no lightsaber action. You know, like um, mm. the scenes where they use the lightsabers or anything, anything like that. To be honest, I think Rogue One, in my opinion, was absolutely fantastic. It got away oh, really? from Star Wars. It, it showed a completely different side that we didn't know about. And like, oh, okay, that's fair enough. Yeah, like I, di- I didn't mind, you know, the whole not having lightsaber. I'm like, because it's not about Jedi's. It's not about the Sith. It's about how the regular people, the regular folk, are fighting back against something that is about to destroy the world. And it's like, fuck yeah, we can do this. What I want to know is that. I've been hearing a lot on online saying that uh, that Luke Skywalker has turned into a grey Jedi. Into a grey Jedi? A grey yeah, Oh, no, I know this. It's it's gray... the balance. Yeah. It's not Jedi and Sith. It's just the balance or something like that. It's the middle. It's the middle, right? Yeah. yeah. Someone who can control both the light and the dark. That's right, yeah. yeah that, so it's, he's it's going basically to be the last, actual last Jedi, right? So there's no more yeah, Jedi cause... now. So he's the last one. Yeah, because if if you think about it, he has got he's got the anger of his father, which if everyone knows is Darth Vader, and um, but yeah, he also can control it because he is a very powerful Jedi. Like I've read the canons of the books and all and all the comic books. It's uh, really fantastic storylines. And I think that's the whole idea of the title, the Last Jedi. It's it's not him like the Jedi being stopped together. It's just him progressing, yeah. accepting that there has to be dark for light, and vice versa. Mm. And I think that's what's going to happen. They're going to bring Ben Kenobi back into it, and have him do the exact same, realise he cannot have just darkness, he must have light to go with yeah. it. Yeah, that's what I want to know is, like, at the end of the trailer, he goes, it's time for the Jedi to end. I was going, no! Yeah, fucking mind blown! 
Like, what the hell? Because some people are thinking it's either him saying it, Mark Hamill, or some people are saying that it's Benedict Del, uh, Del Toro. Oh. Uh, some other act. Yeah, because he's apparently going to be in it. And some people ah. are thinking that it's similar to his voice as well. You know, if like, you actually watch his lips, you can see his lips move and they look like they're synchronizing with the, with the voice. Yeah. It looks so like he's saying it, actually. Yeah, yeah. It's like the very dark, ominous, like, look he's given him, you know, yeah. just really, it's really good. Can't wait. And also, if you listen closely, there's some kind of audio uh, hidden Easter eggs as well. Like, um... Oh, God. Oh, good <laughs> Lord. <laughs> Skilled by error, that. <laughs> yeah. It's the wires. If you listen carefully, you can hear Yoda's voice in there somewhere. You can hear um, Yoda's voice. There's uh, Darth Vader's voice. Like the part where they go um, light, which they show the back of Carrie Fisher's head. May she rest in peace. Yeah. Mm. And they said, you know, the the light side and the dark. They zoom in. People are always thinking that um, that it's Darth Vader's helmet, which is not. It's actually Kylo Ren's mask. Ah, I didn't know that. You see. Yeah. I thought it was Darth Vader's. It, like, it slowly zooms into the mask, and you can hear the mechanical breathing, but it's actually um, it's actually Kylo Ren's mask, because uh, when when Rey and Kylo are in the battle, she just, yeah. you know, she just whacks him in the face and it destroys the mask. Oh. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. There's one, see, there's one part of the trailer which I found was really weird, uh, is, the, is the part where they... I didn't know this at the time. It looked like an actual tree bark. You know when they're zooming and the, when they had all the yes. Star Wars books, what are they called? Um, I can't remember what they're called. The, the Holocaust. Books, the, yeah, that's it. The, those Holocaust, things. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't actually know it was actually books. It looked like it was just a tree bark, or whatever you want to call it. Tree it's bark. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, it's I, just some it's wood. Uh, it's just a piece of random wood. Like they show the yeah. part where like like a hand's covering this piece of cloth, and it shows the like the Jedi the symbol. Symbol, yeah. Symbol, but, yeah. Like silk, like it's grey in the middle. Oh, that's going to be good. Right. Actually, I can't wait for that now. And that's out December twenty third or something like that. It's really that's close right. to fucking it's Christmas this year. Yeah. Well, in the trailer it says this Christmas. It's like yeah, it's going to be like literally dropping on Christmas. Fuck Jesus, we got yeah. Jedi. This is the <laughs> rebirth. It's like pe- people focus on this Christmas for a holiday year. Now nah, my Christmas is Jedi's, mate. No, yeah, no. fucking. <laughs> this is how it's done. Yeah. This is the shit. The shit. Fun fact: in um in Star Wars: The Force Awakens, um they actually did like a deleted scene where Hayden Christensen, the actor who played as Anakin Skywalker, apparently he was going to make a, a re rep- rep- a reprisal role. As uh, Anakin Skywalker slash Darth Vader, but they deleted it. Ooh. Oh, wow. That would be like that. Oh, that maybe because is... uh, his acting skills maybe, were quite good. Maybe, um, maybe like they did that Force Ghost. Oh, <laughs> no, they can't bring him yeah. back as Force Ghost. That would be terrible. <laughs> yeah, kind of like getting bored of the whole Force Ghost kind of thing. Use the Force. <laughs> you will be powerful, Luke. Do any of you guys watch the um, Star Wars Rebels? Yes, I've actually started watching them uh, the other day. I'm on I'm on season two now because um, they left like that massive cliffhanger on season one where they just showed Darth Vader's face. Oh, that was really good. But, uh, yeah, actually... but they did announce. I'm pretty sure they did announce um, season four. Season four, yeah. Oh, I, 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 right. like it's supposed to be very good. It's meant to be very canon, actually. Like it's meant to be quite it's near very it. Very clever, is it? They had um, they got iconic characters like Darth Vader, Grand Moff Tarkin. I heard they brought back Maul in his spider legs. It's going to be quite cool as well. Um, yes, they they did bring back Maul, but they killed him off. As oh well fuck as off! Watched it. Yeah, no, but if you watch it, it's a really good ending on how on how he goes. It's Darth Maul and Obi Wan on Tatooine, one final battle. Nice. Wow. I like but that actually. But it's a short battle. It's like a. Because they do this like dead steering. If, I'm not gonna spoil it for you. You've got to go, go watch it. Yourself, okay, yeah, yeah I'll really go watch good. it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's really good. It's very sad as well. <laughs> Such feels. So season four is gonna be the last season, right, of Star Wars Rebels? Yes, it's, 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 it's gonna be finished after that. Jesus, that's yeah. insane. Well, well, I've one, actually never watched the sure Star have, Wars. Yeah, the the only one I haven't watched is Clone Wars. I might watch that. Hmm. Oh, not so bad. But they didn't have, oh, but I'm sorry to interrupt again. But they did announce that um, in Return of the Jedi, um, like the scene when they're on Endor, the the moon planet, yes, or the or 
Yeah, uh, there was a there was an old man, an old soldier with like a grey beard and a grey mustache. They announced that that is actually Captain Rex from from the Clone Wars. Oh, that's cool, actually. That, that he survived from when he was born as the clo- as a clone. He survived from the Clone Wars to um to Return of the Jedi to the Rebels era, and he returned on on the Rebels. Oh, that's kind of cool. Return, so, yeah. Jedi. I like that. It shows that the clones can live forever. <laughs> so they're gonna kind of like do like. I, a, I think we have a, a fan called Tefinator sixty nine. Any any relation uh, to yours? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> wow. wow. <laughs> that that reaction says it all. He's he's wondering how come you're not wow. saying hi, man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I I could I could just show you all the Star Wars collector collector. Oh, I can't even speak. Oh. I'm not tired today. Oh, someone loves you, man. Love you, Teffy. Uh, wag on. Uh, <laughs> wag one. Oh, wag one. That's that's my friend. That's the one who was who helped you about the about the uh, uh, the the voice problem. Ah, oh, yeah, that so makes shout sense. out to him. Hello, awesome. my friend. That's cool, actually. <laughs> Yeah. Right, guys, so is that is that enough for this? Uh, yeah, I think it's time to jump on to yeah. something I'm I'm looking forward to actually the next one. Oh, it's me too. Released, me too. It's released in the United Kingdom this month at the end of the month. I can't wait. Really? Is uh, I cannot wait. Yeah. They want Jay to turn on his camera. <laughs> 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 Sorry, I, I I have the chat here as well. I'm just interacting with everyone. It has to be done. <laughs> the the oh, cult. Reason, <laughs> no, it's our cult now. It's our cult following. It is a cold it's in a, we're, we're in really big hoods. <laughs> right, so the next topic, guys, is Guardians of the Galaxy. So this is going to be set two to three months after the first film. The Guardians of the Galaxy travel throughout the cosmos and struggling to keep their newfound family together while helping Peter Quill learn more about his true parentage and stopping an enemy who threatens to destroy the entire galaxy. So starring Chris Pratt as Star-Lord, Zol Saldana as uh, Gamora, Dave Bautista as Dax, Drax the Destroyer, Vin Diesel as Baby Groot, Bradley Cooper as the voice of Rocket, Michael Rooker as Yondu, and Palm Clementi as Mentis, and Kurt Russell as Eagle. So releasing in the UK on April 28th, and in America on May 5th. Like like you said, uh, in, in Britain, they're going to be released on the 28th of April, and in, in a rest, of, rest around the world, it's on the 5th of May. Is that something that seemed to make you giggle earlier? Yeah. <laughs> your, uh, your best friend there, um, he just went, Cam Gorrett, just show it off. <laughs> just show it off. He wants yeah. Jay to turn, off, turn on his camera and do a little Cam Gore. And come watch. Oh, wow. No, I'm not going to click on that link. That, that's. Yeah. You have to jump on Twitch chat, man, and just, just enjoy it. Okay, back to official. Um, has anyone seen the Baby Groot vs. Baby Lizard trailer? Yes. Oh, Jay, you're missing out. It's amazingly funny. I, I, you have to send me the link. Oh, yeah, I, I have to get off now. Like, that's the thing is, it, I'm getting a, a, a weird sensation now from Guardians of the Galaxy, and it is annoying me, is they're releasing so many trailers for it, and um, I'm like, why? You're just ruining so much of it. Stop it, please. But, but one thing that they aren't ruining is that I love in one of the trailers that they really, that they showed Kurt, uh, Kurt Russell as, as uh, Peter's father. Like who the hell are you? Like they did it in the first Guardians of the Galaxy trailer where who are you? I'm, I'm Star Lord. Who? Yeah. You know? yeah. Like... And they kind of did the same thing with Yeah, Star-Lord. that's right. Well, I cannot wait for this uh, this movie. So I'm one of the lucky ones to watch it first in the UK. Really? I'm going to watch that. And um, how? I just, I'm just so excited because I, I really enjoyed the first one. I thought the yeah, but why are we letting you do Galaxy... it? Sorry. <laughs> how come you get to go? Wait, as in you're going to like a premiere of it? No, no, no. Oh, okay. I thought that's what you meant. Like, you were getting to see it like a week earlier. Like, Premier, yeah. I'm like, I'm fucking hell. I was going to say, who's your, your contact? If only I was that special, guys. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. So, I was at 26th this month. 28th, 28th, I believe. Oh, yeah, I'm definitely going to go see that. That's only like, that's Friday week. That's like two weeks away. That's less, less, you know less than a week. Next Friday. You know what's so special about me? You know what's so, so so special about it for me? Go on. Because twenty eighth is the day I get paid. Payday in Guardians of the Galaxy. Nice. Thank thank the Lord. Oh. <laughs> yeah, look, you know, I just started a new job as well, so I'm getting all my tax back. So I'm just gonna get like a huge sump of money. I'm like, yeah, this is what I'm doing. Lovely. I'm just gonna buy out the whole cinema. Be like, no one else is allowed in here. 
That's our favorite one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm yeah. gonna have to probably watch it at least about two, three times anyway in the cinemas. Oh, yeah. oh easily, yeah. Just to get like all the little spoilers and everything. And I'm kind of happy. Karen Gillan is coming back uh, as Nebula. I love, I, I love Nebula, Nebula character. She just, to me, I think she's going to be one of the better characters along with Mantis. You know, the smaller ones. And um, yeah, I, I feel like she's going to like show shit that she didn't know she could do herself. Yeah. What what made me uh, what, what made me think is that uh, Saldana, who plays Nebula, uh, she went in into, into does like, she a not play um, Gamora? Yeah. Uh, no, Gamora. That's yeah, it. Yeah. I'm getting all the characters mixed. <laughs> Blue chick, green uh, chick. She said in a Facebook Live Q and A that uh, she said she'd love to see Karen Gillan's character kill Thanos. That would wow. be amazing, actually. I could yeah. see that happening, but because in the comics, she, I'm pretty sure that um, she stabs him. Ne Nebula, yeah, she yeah. kills him or something, and she uh, claims a glove or something. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, it's in the comics, yeah, yeah. So we don't know how canon it's going to be. Like it's yeah, exactly. It, like that's thing. One thing I do want to see in Into the Galaxy Volume Two is more of Thanos because I thought Thanos in um, yes. Guardians of the Galaxy was pretty good yeah. from what they showed us. Did you? You know the little. <laughs> Interaction with Ronan the Accuser, I thought yeah. that was pretty good. And yeah, you did, call me boy. <laughs> did you hear who um who is going to play Cable actually, speaking of Thanos? Yes. Is Josh yes, Fallen, yeah, Thanos. Like it, it's it's amazing. He he's getting Thanos around. I think that would be yeah. his third comic book movie. It was I think the first yeah. I think the first ever movie I saw Josh Brolin in was the Goonies. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah, that, yeah. Cause he he done another comic book movie, and a lot not a lot of people remember it. Jonah Hex. Oh he, no way! That was him. Was he in Jonah Hex? That he was Jonah Hex. That, oh, yeah, that was yeah, like I what two thousand and one, maybe before two thousand eight. Two thousand eight. I gotta check that out later. Yeah, it, that's <laughs> what it would be his third comic book movie. Is that DC yeah. or Marvel? DC. DC. Oh uh, yeah. Oh, there you go. So it'll be his second Marvel movie. I wonder actually, is he going to like is. Deadpool actually going to have a gist of him in it and be like, I thought you were uh, purple and be like, hmm, okay. Yeah, it'd be funny if he, he goes, um, here's Cable, part time, loves to loves to dress up in pink and love shiny gloves. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it would be if fantastic. Somebody, if he says something like that, I'll be it's Oh, yeah. Place. Back to Guardian yeah. too. <laughs> sorry, go ahead. Yeah, sorry. Um, keep, keep in. <laughs> yeah, it just, it's amazing. I want to know though, is... Like I, I'm, I'm concerned about Kurt Russell in this movie. Like I like Kurt Russell, but I don't know if he can play an all-powerful god in a sense of Spartan. Forgive mm. me. Uh, no, I'm just. Well, true. Mm. I'm sure he is. His, I don't think his role is going to be that big, to be honest. If I'm not mistaken. No, because Eagle, the living planet, is mm. Star Lord's father. Yeah, yeah. planet. I'd love to see him like transform into the planet. That yeah, would it would be, awesome. be cool, actually. Yeah. So, so his his mom basically made love to a planet. When people say "fuck mother what you you're getting a Star Lord. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying that out. Uh, oh, <laughs> psych throwing a hot dog into the Grand Canyon, man. Damn. Wow. <laughs> okay. Um. And who else is actually in this? Oh, who plays Yondu again? Woody yeah, Harrelson. Uh... No. Michael Rooker, yeah, you're right. Michael Rooker. Michael Rooker, yeah. Yeah, and he is—is is he in um... Walking Dead? Yeah, I, I, I love him, and I'm kind of glad they're bringing back his actual Mohawk. They're giving him like the full. Yeah. Fin. Yeah, like I mean, if you've seen the comic books, it is huge, but it's a bit huge in the comic books. And then in the first I movie, I thought, it, why? Um, it probably like grows with his power or something like that. I want to say something like that. Kind because like, like in the, the first yeah. one, it's like standard, it's like smooth. It's yeah, it was just like a like gem like or something sitting in his head. Yeah, it was weird. But um, I th I think it's going to be um, it's going to be a really good movie. Like it, it's they they got onto a really good like you know fucking run with Guardians of the Galaxy. It's you know we're serious, kind of you know. Yeah, well, <laughs> I, I think I will say. more on the funny side. Yeah, it it's I'm human. Really it feels that, human yeah. to me. In the first movie that they released, they obviously had the soundtrack, and the soundtrack to the first movie was absolutely yeah, amazing. It, it was the most nostalgic and thing in the world. They just recently released the list of the second uh, mixtape, and oh my god, such classic yeah. songs in there. Like, Mostly 70s and 80s. Yeah, Sweet, We Have Fox on the Run by Sweet, uh, The Chain by Fleetwood yeah. Mac, My Sweet Lord Sweet by George Mac. Harrison. Oh, my man. 
you know, wham bang, shang lang. I have a feeling that's going to be used in like a yes. um, a serious like fighting moment, or yes. like you know a, a flight moment or something like that. You know, it's... I think there's one song called "Father and Son" which by Cat like, Stevens. It's going to be, that's yeah, it, yeah, and it's going to be like a very bonding moment between Kurt Russell, and which is Kurt immediately Russell. going to be shattered by something funny by Rock. Rocket, like, yeah. like, what the hell's wrong with you? It's like, oh, fuck's sake. Oh, I love Rocket. <laughs> yeah. And then and... Um, James Gunn, the director, he just announced that they did one song that they made for the whole album, and it's called Guardians Inferno. Yeah, with David Hasselhoff is on. David Hasselhoff. I fucking yeah. loved it. I hope he I makes a cameo. You know, I, I honestly tell you now, I actually listened to it it's uh, good. this morning. And it's really good. It's very, like, techno 80s style. Oh. It's really good. Oh, nice. Oh, that would actually be amazing. I'm going to have to listen to that now after the podcast. <laughs> yes, definitely. One thing I do like is was the actual uh, soundtrack to the first one. I did enjoy it throughout the whole film. They played mm. these different old songs in, in between like yeah. scenes and stuff. And yeah. it's just, yeah, everything fitted well yeah. as well. It was very good flow. So it's not, um, it's not like they're thrown in randomly like one of the songs. It's like actually fitted well in like say for example like it's like a serious scene going on and they throw this funny soundtrack on and it's like it just works mm. pretty well oh yeah and yeah. it seemed to fit the, each character properly as well like you know I love the way that they did with Groot because um, obviously Vin Diesel returns as the voice of Groot yeah. but obviously when he was recording it they tuned his voice to be high pitched like in the trailers <laughs> I was in stitches oh, yeah. the way that they did it <laughs> Oh, it's going to be amazing. I'm actually, I'm actually wondering if um, Baby Groot will eventually regrow into Yeah, will we actually Groot? see, you know, progression of Baby Groot? Yeah, that would actually be quite fun, actually. It might be maybe, another like a, thing at the end, maybe. maybe we, yeah, maybe we could see, like, a post-credit scene where he's kind of like a teenager Groot, where he's got, like, yeah. attitude. Or yeah. <laughs> or even... Um, as, long as, we don't get, as long as we don't get Howard the Duck again. Oh, oh honestly, that yeah. was... That was the, my I man, Howard. Whoa, well, why'd you let him lick you? Gross. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. And we do I'm actually not, have I'm a not... release date, don't we? If I remember correctly. What's that? There, there is a date to go with it. And it's really? the 5th of the 5th, 17. What's that? Guardians, wait, Guardians 2 will be released in the UK on April the 28th, 2017, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah but right. they, they there was a an early release date, wasn't there? Of something about the 5th of the 5th. Yeah, fifth of May is going to be for America, and uh, oh, okay, Europe sorry. is twenty eighth. Twenty, yeah. So okay. here in the UK, we always get it like a week. I, I've before. noticed that it jumps. You know, maybe, I think the next movie then will be released in the US first, and then here or something like that. They uh, always go back and forth between them. I thought we would always get it first in the UK. I think that's always been the yeah, case. Yeah, but Marvel's always done that. Marvel's mm. always uh, released in the UK a week early. So. Um, so Fuck hey. <laughs> <laughs> like you, America! And Twitch stream gets shut down. <laughs> oh man. Okay. Um. So all we have to do is just wait and see now, and have to have oh, another podcast. Well, and... I'll definitely be doing like a review for uh, Guardians of the Galaxy Two. Oh yeah. And yeah. probably we'll be doing like a podcast and stuff, so it's getting the reactions and oh, stuff like that. Yeah. So yeah, that'll be next Saturday. Oh yeah, definitely. Well, I think it's safe to say we can move on to the games portion oh, yeah. of the podcast. My and we're going to be time. starting off with uh, some Call of Duty news. So this uh. year, Sledgehammer joins the World War II ranks of Call of Duty, which will bring the series back to World War II. After nearly 10 years, we can't wait to tell you more about the Call of Duty World War II, so be sure to watch the reveal live stream at 10 a.m. Pacific on April 26th. I'm sure you can find links on YouTube and stuff, or any of your re- game retailers might have a live stream on their website. So um, on the 26th, like... that's a. Oh, but I, I finished work at like four o'clock, and I'm like, I'm not staying up for that. You gotta hate these American times. Yep. I'm telling you. <laughs> I I can't wait for E3. Oh, it's gonna be brutal. These time zones are a real bitch. Oh yeah. Yeah, but I'm I'm actually intrigued because I've never I know that World War, Call of Duty did the World War themed oh. game but at the back in the yeah World of War which was the, based on again World yeah. War One. Yeah, so I've not actually played any of the first few Call of Duties. I started really? playing from really? like Call of Duty Modern Warfare. But yeah. oh, well, yeah. you started on a good game, yeah. Chalice. Modern Warfare was one of the top games but, ever. Yeah, it was. I did really oh. enjoy that. But I'm actually 
I didn't. I've, I've actually got the the latest one, mm. which was uh, Infinite. Oh. Uh, Infinite Warfare. Oh. Yeah. I, I didn't even buy that. I borrowed it off a friend just to see what it was like, and I was like, yeah, no, take it back. Get it out yeah. of my house. <laughs> it's, it's good. It was a bit weird as well because it's all like future based and everything. But I think with uh, Battlefield One, how successful that was with the World War themed. Yes. Yeah. Game it was very successful. But I think I, like I like I did tell uh, Sass earlier that uh, when I was a kid, the first ever uh, Call of Duty game I ever played was Call of Duty Three, and that was based on World War Two. And I remember telling him earlier that. When they announced that the title was Call of Duty World War Two, is it, it got me thinking: Is it going to be like a sequel to World at War Two, or is it just a separate like idea yeah. at all? I'm, I'm no, guessing it will be it, a separate. Yeah, idea. it's it is going to be linked to. It's what they call a modern link to World War Two. Thank it, God, no it? jetpacks. Yeah. <laughs> oh, fuck off that because uh, I'm. I like the fact that they're going back to basics, you know, the whole gun shooting, yeah. no flying around and all that crap and yeah. spaceships and all this. Yeah. I, I didn't I didn't find it was Call of Duty like, at all. That's the thing is, if, if they War. released Infinite War as a completely separate game that wasn't Call of Duty, it would have been amazing. But it they had to release it with I, the Call of Duty title, which annoyed me. I think it's the just... only reason why I liked it was because they had... Big A list celebrities in the game, like they had Kit Harrington from Game of Thrones, McGregor, Jon Snow, Conor McGregor, they had Lewis yep. Hamilton, yep. Kevin Spacey, was he like, back into it? No, it wasn't Kevin Spacey. He no, was, no, was, Kevin Spacey was in, uh, he was in Advanced, Advanced Warfare, 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 yeah, yeah, because yeah. he was the bad guy, wasn't he? Yeah, he was, yeah, 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 yeah. Fucking well, that, and, and that's the, and, and Advanced Warfare is the one that Sledgehammer made, but it went really bad. Oh, it was so oh, bad. Division. Like, like advanced so bad. for zombies. Zombies with jetpacks. Yeah, it's like, why? Fuck, what? what's wrong with you? Mind-blowing. Yeah, I cannot wait for it. But like, that thing is, we don't have a lot about it yet. That, that's... Exactly, that's another thing. Mm. I'm, I'm hoping they'll give us, like, a, at least a trailer or a teaser or something to give us, like, I... a little bit of a flavour of what it's about, or what it's going to be about. Yeah, like, we just sort of oh. have to wait for E3 now. This is where it's all going to come out. When I, I bet when Activision was in the boarding room, they're like all sitting down. They're like, right, Battlefield One did really well. Uh, let's c- kind of do like World War Two. And then you know the leaked images went online with the posters and everything. I bet Activision was, was shitting themselves, thinking, oh god, what, what's what's gonna happen? Oh, mm. what, are we, what are we gonna do? You know, what are we gonna do? <laughs> <laughs> gotta think, gotta think. And they were like, gotta think, gotta think. Oh yeah, we'll mm. just put it online, saying we're gonna just reveal it. <laughs> To, to be fair though, I've got like a little point to make because um, from all the friends and people that I know who actually used to play Call of Duty, stopped playing it from since Ghost was released. Oh, that's yeah. how bad. Go- oh, Ghost bad was actually down, the though. the killer. From, I completely yeah, forgot. Yeah, that's I, how bad it was. Completely forgot about it. It was. A lot of people just like the the numbers that declined. With how many people I knew that just stopped playing mm. Call of Duty? So I'm wondering like, how many people would peak interest in this new Call of Duty World War Two? Yeah. yeah, like that. Well, that... like hardcore fans really do like boots to the ground classic. Yeah. So at least like, at least fans. I I just can't wait. I just want to see the trailer and just judge it. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Same. Yeah, like th- th- this has showed me how bad Advanced Warfare was. On IGN, it got a nine point one. Oh Jesus Christ! Yeah, damn. Oh, and I do not God. trust IGN with anything. Oh no, I never no. trust them. Nine point one. Yeah. So. <laughs> nine point well, one. I know Advanced that's Warfare. Bad. Like what the fuck? Oh God, that's. And from one ruined franchise to something else that might actually walk this time around. <laughs> I think time for the next subject. Uh, Let's move on, guys. Live the untold Star Wars story of Aiden, an elite stormtrooper in an original single-player story, battle on land and in space in an extended multiplayer experience with iconic heroes and villains, thrilling space battles and a deep progression and customization system, embark on an all-new battlefront experience from the best-selling Star Wars game franchise of all time, Star Wars Battlefront 2. Become the hero, play as a fearless trooper, pilot a legendary starfighter, fight as your favourite iconic Star Wars characters, or forge a new path as an elite special force soldier through an emotionally gripping new Star Wars story. Battlefront 2 releases on PC and consoles November 17th, 2017. I cannot wait. I cannot wait. <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I think... Wait, what, what, what the hell are you... <laughs> Just ignore me for a second. Just ignore me. For a... I was just about to grab this, you know, my my lightsaber. 
Love it. I did have the whole thing, but... You were kind of bogged. Oh, yeah. Nice. Nice. I love it. Um, I, um, I actually never even played Star Wars Battlefront. I Never. I, I played, like, a bit of it, and I I just didn't like it. It just annoyed the shit out of me. Uh, and uh, Frostbite, because they're using the Frostbite engine as well. Yeah. They, and what I was so happy about was that um, EA announced that there is no season pass. Yeah, but that's, to me, that that's their way of saying, we, we're not going to make you pay for a season pass to get everything. Instead, we're going to yeah. make you pay for everything for twice the amount of money. I, I, I that's what that's it said to me. I, I think that's the first time I've ever seen EA kind of do an apology. <laughs> yeah, like, that thing is, that now they're just going to make people pay, have to pay for shit then. Like, you know, yeah. they're going to have to make them be like, oh, we can make you pay for anything now because there's no season pass. You're not going to get shit for free anymore. It's, you have to no. pay for this now. And they've got more uh, heroes now, like Jedi. Yeah, I, I, I was, I like that, yeah. But then they showed me, I was like, yeah, but, you know, the one thing you wanted, which was galactic battles, yeah, that's not happening. But now... But now they announced that um, that you can fight between all three. I, I was doing four then. <laughs> <laughs> Matt's uh, hard. Uh, <laughs> you got the um, you got the Clone Wars. Yeah. You got the Galactic uh, Civil War, mm. and then you got the newest one, which is the First Order era. Oh. And oh. Uh, they they announced that uh, if you pre-order it, oh, of course, you get yeah. to have the you get to have. Uh, I know. Oh, oh. If you pre if you pre order it, you get to have the the last Jedi characters. So that might which be is very interesting. So it 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 want to be coming out after the last Jedi. They can't pick it up beforehand. Uh, no, I th I believe it's releasing before the last Jedi. That's very sketchy. Yeah, November. Oh wow, that that's that's, that's going to put up a lot of spoilers now for the last Jedi. What I wonder if we if we're going to be able to like play as a. Old Luke Skywalker or like a Ray As like, Jar Jar Binks. The Sith Lord. Jar Jar Binks. I am the reason oh it has all gone to hell. I'm sure, I'm, I'm sure he's a Sith Lord, ain't he? Oh he has to be like I I love the whole like, the, the Jar Jar Binks Sith Lord like theory and people were like, So did this actually happen? Going up to George Lucas and he went Oh you that's yeah, dude. <laughs> oh man. But yeah, I'm like guessing is uh, EA to me has just lost a lot of respect lately, and I'm just I, I have no time for them anymore. Like the the, the last, like I, I don't mind stuff that comes out of Bioware and that, like the smaller franchises, but something that instantly goes EA and like no, I'm out. I remember the time when EA actually made like Harry Potter games. Yes, oh yes. my EA god. EA games challenge everything. That was amazing. Yeah, challenge everything. I yeah. missed that, and now it's just EA Sports. It's only game. It's only game. <laughs> I, I love, love that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's absolutely beautiful. Well, one thing I'm interested in is because um, I've I've only played it like you um, mentioned uh, about five ten minutes. I've actually got the game, but when I bought the game, I didn't realize it was on multiplayer. Or you have to have an online. Yeah, connection. yeah that was fucking so I didn't annoying. Have an online connection. Yeah, I didn't have an online connection at the time, which kind of sucked. So uh, I I used like a fourteen day trial kind of thing, and I did enjoy. The story, however, I thought it would be a campaign mode as well. No, right. but I'm, I'm, yeah. I believe it was all multiplayer online. Right. I, I love that in the it chat. All, Sims will always be the best. Or... What was that? Someone said in the chat, Sims for the win. Yeah, that, that's oh, one of the only other. Respect to my man there. No, Sims. woman, little oh. Ivy. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, madam. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta be fucking vigilant. I can't see the chat. So yeah, actually, you just realise that you can't. See. <laughs> <laughs> only me and Jay have the. I don't even know if Jay can do it. His computer just like crash, just go up and smoke. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, Jay. Or he is a. He's a whole desk shaking. It's like, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> My desk is running away. <laughs> yeah, the Sims. Oh, are oh. class. I've never actually played it properly, so I. Won't... But from what I played, I was um, I played as Darth Vader, and you could be inside this uh, the actual base unit. Mm -hmm. Where all the stormtroopers come and it's like a a wave of enemies that come at you, and you get to like try and defeat them all in one go, and then the next round two comes, there's a lot, lot, lot more enemies come at the same time. And um, I, I thought that, that was the only thing I ever played on Star Wars Battlefront, but I'm actually hoping like now that I've got an online connection and I can play online, maybe I can enjoy it a lot more now. 
with the yeah. back but, one too, because you can play like you can be um, what is it, Darth Maul? Yeah. Honestly, the Darth most, most un underrated character. Yeah. Like he, like his story, like one of the comics that they did was a story was amazing. Yeah, I, I, he yeah. is very underrated. And even the, ca the actor who did play him, you know, said he wanted to shoot more, but they wouldn't let him, which was kind of shitty. But again, uh, game wise, I still can't get into it. Like, I I'll play a little bit, and I'm just like, yeah. Because it's, it's one of those, if you well, play it first, you're going to get better than everyone else. And that's it. Yeah. You'll get the better go. And well, once you jump into it now, you'll. What would be interesting, what would be interesting is that when they release Battlefront 2, I'd love to play as, as the new characters like uh, Ray, Finn, Kylo, yes. and. Kylo Ren, because they announced that um, BB-8 BB for the win. BBA just, <laughs> <laughs> no, but, um, Suicide but, bombing. <laughs> <laughs> they did announce that um, in the single player campaign, uh, it, the story mode is going to take uh, take place between 30 years. So between Return of the Jedi and um, Star Wars: The, the Last Jedi. Mm. So it's going to be the storyline is going to go between one of those. Which which and would be nice, little fella. That, they did say that obviously uh, the main character you're going to play is, is that woman who was in the Empire and all that but they did oh, yeah. announce that you can like uh, between the storylines they said you can play as Luke Skywalker and Kylo Ren as well oh that would be Which cool be very cool well just we couldn't really play as Kylo Ren for long because he was only no. what like 17 or 18 in the movie in I don't know Force Awakens so you know it, it, there's a chance you wouldn't really play playing him as long but I'm, no. yeah, I'm kind of glad they are giving it a campaign, but I hope it's not one of those you have to be connected to the internet campaigns, which I've seen, which is like... Oh, yeah, one of those know, crap ones. Yeah, so. which I wouldn't be surprised if they did it. Like, to me, like, an always online game never really went down well. I mean, look at Titanfall 2, that just went... It's like Titanfall in general. Mm -hmm. it, it, it might follow the line of Titanfall, where Titanfall 2 was meant to be absolutely fantastic and everything. I still haven't played it yet, because I was so disappointed with the first one. And I think that's yeah. going to be the same way with Star Wars Battlefront 2. I'm just like, you know, fucking, you, you messed up the first one. You have no, we, we don't have much hope for you. You know, it's, mm. which is annoying. Like, I don't want to be like that with a game. You know, I want to be like, I want to get this game because I know it's going to be good. Or I, I know, I don't know anything about it, but if you do that to a first game, it's but just... it looks good. Yeah. Like, that it does look thing. fantastic, I will give that. Yeah, yeah. But again, we like could... the next topic... So oh, yeah, no love. Um, sorry to quit you off there. No, nope, no Probably. love. So moving on to some DC news. Uh, Injustice 2 is the superpower sequel to the hit game Injustice Gods Among Us that allows players to build and power up the ultimate versions of their favourite DC characters. Featuring a massive selection of DC superheroes and supervillains, players can personalise the iconic DC characters with unique and powerful gear earned throughout the game. Additionally, for the first time, Gamers can, can can take control of how their characters look, fight, and develop across a variety of game modes. Players can choose from the biggest DC roster ever offered in a fighting game, from classics fan favorites such as Batman, Superman, Supergirl, The Flash, Aquaman, Wonder Woman, and Blue Beetle, to astonishing new villains like Gorilla Grodd, mm. Deadshot. Is Tara going Aquaman. to be in it as well? I remember correctly from Teen Titans. I tried. Yeah. Uh, how do you pronounce it? Uh, Tara, if I remember correctly, she uh, controls oh, rocks and that. Yeah, Tara, probably, because um, yeah, and there's another one I can't even pronounce it. Atrot Atrotius, Atrocious. Atrotius. Um, he is Atrotius. one of the generals from Aquaman, isn't he, or something like that? Red Lanterns. Is it Red Lantern? The Red Lantern. Uh, yeah. Oh. Uh, Atrocious so, is um is the is the one of the is the leader of the Red Lanterns. Oh. Of, uh, ah, of, nice. I think it's, Anger or like, yeah, anger um, is rage. That's it, rage. Yeah, because I remember there was actually a comic book where um, this girl actually her, she had the ring, but someone killed her foot, and it turns out the 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 cat or something found the ring, and was so angry at the people who caused her to kill herself and that like you know suicide and that, the cat actually became a red lantern cat and ended up killing everyone. Whoa, it was leash. fucking amazing. Yeah. Like like what. EA Battle, uh, Star Wars Battlefront 2 is doing, they're letting you have another character if you pre-order it as well. <sighs> and this time, and try and guess who uh, you get to play. Darkside. Dark side. Yeah. The most probably OP character that will be in the fucking game. Probably, Basically, yeah. Thanos version 2. Yeah. No, point 2. Yeah. Mm. And but it's... technically, it's actually Darkseid that was debuted first before Thanos. Yeah. Mm. Just a little... 
Apparently they, uh, they got inspiration from uh, from Darkseid. Yeah. The colorings and everything, you know, the way he, yeah. like, it's kind of... But then insane. you have, like, Apocalypse as well, which is kind of similar to... I was really annoyed how they portrayed the Apocalypse in, actually, uh, X-Men. Really annoyed me. But then someone pointed out, you know, that Apocalypse takes on the form of whoever he takes over. I was like, okay, that's fair enough, you know. The other guy he did take over was skinny and bald. I was like, okay, fair enough. Back, back on topic, guys. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so um, just I played Injustice one on um, on a on my phone app. <laughs> on my uh, on phone oh, no. app. I meant to say oh, the free the free game. Yeah. yeah. Free game. Yeah. So I um, played it on that. I thought it was pretty cool. But, I I did uh, like Injustice one. It was of, good. Sorry. It, well, it, well, I played it on PlayStation and I I found it very good. It, but it was it didn't feel anything new anything anything like sorry, amazing. Sorry, um, I I need to charge my. Yeah. My phone is suddenly uh, dying. That's why I'm trying to get the the best position. For the, the... It's good, man. <laughs> I thought it was weed or something, you know, or something high, maybe. Injustice. It kind of it's, it's similar to like Street Fighter Second. Yeah, it, it, it's Combat, nothing. So that's what I was maybe. saying. It's, it's nothing out there new. It's just like fighting game with new characters. I'm like, okay, fair enough, thanks. Yeah. You know, it's it, it, um... it, it, still the same fucking thing. Yeah. But what I I want to you know though. I prefer uh, the Flash. Yeah, the Flash, Flash is ultimately the the most impossible to kill. Like, I like yeah. Shazam. <laughs> Shazam. I like Shazam. Sorry, Black, Black Adam. Yes, Black Adam actually is cool. I was going to say you like Shazam, so you like the little kids. <laughs> nice. Thank you. Nice. Yep. Um, but right. I want to know shout though. Out to, shout out to Tavian Eight is sixty nine. And Sergeant <laughs> Waffle is no hello Waffle. It yeah, is. yeah, that's it, it, my friend. Yeah, you're gonna to have to get really the chat true. set up one day now and just fucking enjoy it. But um, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm not too sure how I'm going to enjoy it. Like, again, it's just to me, it's just another fighting game. I will probably get it, yeah. mainly because the Swamp Thing is in it, and he's one of my favorite characters ever from yeah. DC. Um, another, another thing to it. mention is, by the way, is uh, the it's built by. By uh, Never Round Studios, yep. the developers of the best-selling and critically acclaimed Mortal Kombat franchise, Never Round Studios brings unrivaled storyline, robust content, and best in-class fighting me mechanism to the DC universe. So that's an interesting note, just to like maybe put those guys who don't really think it's going to be a, that much more different. Maybe this might change their minds mm. a little bit, maybe because Mortal Kombat 10 was probably a really big a comeback for the franchise itself. Yeah, I believe, and this game actually releases not 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 too far off. May sixteenth, I think is it? Nineteenth. Mm. Yeah. Nineteenth is it? Oh, it's like one of those. I knew it was May sometime ish. I I it's going to be again PS4 Xbox One. Um, I I I would love to have seen a PC port, but I I don't think it's going to go very well. Like if they do try and do it, like it's not going to go. True. Yeah, but um, yeah, I'm I'm definitely looking forward to it. Like I love, I want to know what they're going to do. You know the way they were saying you can get new gear and everything and go up through it that way. Like, what kind of new gear is it going to give you an actual like, you know, an advantage over someone, or is it just you know you look different? Is it going to be like the hats from TF2? You know? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I remember the, when when they released the trailer uh, with the, with the flash and the reverse flash. Uh, I I think I remember the time when um. But you know they they run in and then it's just the flash. You just you know you, you know the, the the symbols all out there, and then it's just reverse flash. He comes in. And he goes, Barry, how's your mother? You know, so so fucking dark with yeah. it. You know, how's your mother? <laughs> wow. Uh, I think we have the final member of the podcast joining us. <laughs> now he's gone again. <laughs> he tried to join and failed miserably. So he's alright. Right. When you try your mm. best, but you, you don't, don't succeed. succeed. Yep. <laughs> but um, yeah, I, I, I probably will end up getting it. But I just, it does look fucking amazing either way. Like it just. Mm -hmm. But I have a feeling. You the... have to see, like you know, you know the the trailers that they actually released um, not so long ago. They, they do these little trailers every now and then of different characters. So Gorilla Grud looks extremely. Uh, what did you say? Scary? Would you, would you say? Yeah, he was very he detailed. Like beast, man. Yeah, like he looks beast. like what he's meant to be. A uh, fucking gorilla, which is going to be amazing. <laughs> and I think we have Super Goal, actually. I wonder, though, are they going to have any, like, the voice actors from the movies actually in the game? Like, are we going to have a Ben Affleck Batman, maybe? 
Uh, I'd love to see, like, oh, um, Stephen Amell and Grant Gustin from, like, the CW yes, shows. Yes, that would be amazing. They, they would, that would be an awesome cameo. Like, I, that thing's, yeah, actually, it doesn't have to be the movies. I'd like to see the show characters. That would be fantastic. Because I'm loving the TV shows yeah, right now. Yeah, I have. Really well. Yeah, I'm just finished after catching up. I, DC Universe. Sorry, DC um, Legends DC of Tomorrow. DC TV. Yeah, DC TV. Yeah. That should be a fucking site with all of these shows. And the sport, yeah. yeah. But um, I like I have to admit I love them, and I'd love to see a lot more characters from the DC uh, Legends of Tomorrow in it, like especially yes. the um, the lead man. What's his name? <laughs> oh, um, Rip Hunter. Hunter. Yeah, I swear to God, if he this guy ha if he keeps trying to join and it keeps closing my live conversation, so it <laughs> it destro it breaks up the stream and it's. But um, yeah, I'd, I'd love to see a lot more of that, you know, a lot more of those characters come into it, um, especially, and the voice actors, because they're all very good, all fantastic. So guys, so we move on to the final topic of the evening, and this is out this week, I call it, a, it's a special segment which I like to um, just basically round up all the games that are coming out in the next week, and I'm going to start off by saying uh, Sniper Ghost Warrior 3, which is out April 23rd on PS4, Xbox One, and PC. Next, we have the the sexy brutal full house edition, uh, available twenty fifth on PS4. We've got Lux Quest, twenty fifth again, PS4, Xbox One, Nintendo DS, Dawn of War three, April twenty seventh PC, Dragon Quest Heroes two, April twenty eighth PS4, mm. Mario Kart eight Deluxe, April twenty eighth Nintendo Switch, Little Nightmares, April twenty eighth PS4, Xbox One and PC. Valhalla Hills, April 28th, PS4 and Xbox One. Puyo Puyo Tetris, if, forgive me if I pronounced that wrong, April 28th, PS4 and Nintendo Switch. And lastly, Outlast Tr Trinity, April 28th, PS4 and Xbox One. So there's quite a few games nice. coming out this month. And, uh, oh, loads, well, yeah. Can I month, just I add say. one that just came out there recently as well? Like a yeah. day ago, is actually going back to old school. Is Marvel Marvel's Guardian of the Galaxy the Telltale episode one just dropped for Telltale, Xbox One, yeah. which I I ah. really cannot wait to play. Like I like Telltale games. I enjoyed The Walking Dead. Uh, I enjoyed well, what was the other one? The one about the cat, the you know big bad wolf and Red Riding Hood and all that. Ah, uh, the wolf, uh, the wolf among us. Uh, the wolf among us. That was fantastic. I thought it was a fantastic yeah. bring into that. Um, but yeah, I wonder what they're going to do with Guardians of the Galaxy. Is it going to be comic book, or is it going to be maybe in between the movies or something? I believe that they go in between the comic book versions, uh, because I actually watched uh, the first episode uh, from yep. an another YouTuber. Hashtag, you know, shout out to the Rad Brad. <laughs> Rad Brad. <laughs> And, um, yeah, they, they definitely go in for the comic book versions because uh, the characters look very different from the movies. A lot more like, like them, Gamora, yeah. Because yeah, Gamora's, like, really green with the, with the yellow eyes. Oh, and, uh, yeah. I like that, yeah. Yeah, they go in very comic uh, The book voice actors from the movie itself, or is it independent voice actors? Uh, no, it's different voice actors. Oh, okay. They got, um, and I, I, I tell you now, you're going to freak out. Uh, they got Rocket, uh, Rocket Raccoon. Uh, they got the voice of Nathan Drake. No. From Uncharted. No. Yeah, Fucking got, hell. Yeah, they got him. What the fuck? Yeah, That's amazing. There. They also got um, so, a guy called Luke from one of the other uh, tell, uh, Telltale games. He's doing the voice of Star Lord. Nice. And uh, they're doing. A, they got a lot of good actors in this, but I was surprised when they announced that. Um, I forgot his name, but all I know is that is Nathan Drake from Uncharted, but he's playing as Rocket Raccoon. Nice. <laughs> That's going to be quite good, actually. Yeah. I'm trying to think of the voice actor now it's gone on my head. He uh he's in quite a lot actually, if I remember correctly. But um yeah, no, that's fantastic. And I think we had another release there that's actually gone skyrocketing and that's the Rick and Morty simulator. Oh, Virtual yes. Recality, I think it's called. Uh yeah. I, I haven't seen much yeah, on it. Virtual recality. Yeah. Mm, I it, it's it's yeah, making me absolutely. want to get a Vive, but I'm pretty sure it would probably set my PC on fire and probably my bank account all at the same time. Probably like one of the best TV shows going so far. Yeah, and I was very surprised Rick, they actually Rick and decided to go with a VR, which was very risky. Like, well, very... it's it's Adult Swim and the same people who made Surgeon Simulator. Yeah, yeah. Like a lot of those are you know two D. Company behind it. Yeah, but like that thing is a lot of those games are you know small two D platform as well. So they have the Rick and Morty Pocket Edition, Pocket Morty Edition, yeah. which is oh, nice. like Pokemon style thing. 
But like, yeah, it's, it's kind of like a Pokemon version where you get to play yeah, loads of like, rips. <laughs> no, fight your Moris yeah, together, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Classy Mori, yeah. stupid Mori, <laughs> superior <laughs> mustache Mori. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You've never watched Rick and Morty. Uh, oh, I, and I've only watched maybe the first season, like properly, like you know, consecutive, chronically. I've uh, seen I've seen both seasons. They're yeah, really good. the season two I've only seen one or two oh. episodes here and there. I haven't. I, I'm still have yet to go through the whole lot because I've just finished uh, Steven Universe, which was it's just such a good fucking show. Love Steven Universe. I can play the whole theme of my ukulele. <laughs> <laughs> you should you should do it right now. No no no, my ukulele oh, is stored away for right now. It, it's it's. Maybe next podcast. We'll use that as the intro yeah, for the next yeah, podcast. How about that? Use it as opening, opening, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. We'll come up with a new uh, podcast intro on the ukulele now. We'll all have to sing it then next time. <laughs> Go on, Jen. I wanted to quickly ask, uh, sorry, I wanted to ask, has any of you, have any of you actually played on the new Nintendo Switch console? No. No. Not yet. But what I have I'm heard... I'm wasting my money on that. I, no I will. I am actually going to waste my money on it. Mainly because, we all know mainly just because Zelda. That's it, just because Zelda. That's, that's they actually, looks they have a big yeah. game coming out this this Zelda month. Really? They Not a single got, though. Um, was it Mario, Kart? Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is coming out um, April 28th. And it is 28th, yeah. going to, it, so far it's gotten a 95%. Like it's, I think the only uh, game that I've, that I've played with Zelda in it is uh, Super Smash Bros. Wow, really? Yeah, that's the only game I've ever played, uh, mm. like, Link. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. Yeah. Have any of you played, whilst <laughs> we're actually going about these big games, um, Neo Automa? No. Oh, oh man. No. Beautiful game. They're releasing a DLC sooner or later where you fight the CEO of the company. And if you beat him, you get a new outfit. Of the what? The CEO of the fucking company that made them. Phoenix. <laughs> like, oh, wow. It's just a fucking figure of him <laughs> comes out and he fires his head at you to kill you. <laughs> Yeah. It's amazing. It's absolutely amazing. Oh, but yeah, that's that's a talk for another time of fighting CEOs. Yeah, well, that was I think um, fun, that's... fun podcast. Oh yeah, <laughs> God, I can't wait for next week. We'll definitely have to do the the whole oh, Twitch definitely. thing, and we'll get Jay yeah, on right, his guys, camera. So, um, I, I got a I'm gonna... better camera stand. <laughs> <laughs> so like a... the the re... the re... That's it, guys. That's all the time we have for for this episode of the Next Generation Podcast Show. Um, I'd have to thank our guests again, the Sasquatch. How can people find you online? Um, you're, well, you're actually currently on my Twitch channel, so if you stay here, I'll actually be coming back on in about 20 minutes uh, to play a little, um, a little Kingdom Hearts 2 for the night. Um, and there'll be links to my Twitter and everything down below. Awesome. And I'd also like to thank Tefanea. How can yeah, people find almost. you online? Uh, yeah, you can find me on YouTube, youtube.com forward slash Tavion Owen Gaming. There you go, guys. My name's Jay. You can find me on Twitter, Facebook, NextGenX, and also on my gaming on movie news website, which is nextgeneration.proboards.com. We're having all the latest news and gaming news on there, so make sure you check that out. And also, find, stay tuned for next week's uh, podcast. Hopefully, you'll see the return of the Sasquatch and the Tefinator, and also some new guests as well. So, yeah, thanks, guys. Until next yeah, time. No problem. See you now. Yeah, see you later, buddy.